Hi, I'm Morten. I'm performing small-scale experiments in the wave basin at Aalborg University of a floating power plant platform. In this little demonstration, I'll show you how the wind turbine um, thrust emulator uh, that is located at the top of the uh, tower is uh, working. At the top of the tower, I have this propeller mounted. Here's a closer look at, at the, the system. The propeller and motor and controller is what is used for, for, for standard uh, model airplanes. Uh, the motor is uh, an outrunner, um, brushless motor, and it's connected to an ESC, so a speed uh, controller. So I'm, by, um, by controlling the speed, I can control the thrust force that is generated by this uh, motor. This is a very brief introduction to this uh, thrust force generator. Uh, so the motor or the propeller here can generate the thrust force that a wind turbine is exposed to. And for a normal 10 megawatt uh, wind turbine, the peak thrust force is curve is, is looking like this, and then at model scale it, it looks like this. And right now I will uh, generate, uh, I will just for the demonstration purposes, it's, I'll generate a, a thrust force corresponding to uh, six meters per second, so a thrust force of uh, corresponding to um, um, 18 uh, newtons at, at, at model scale. Uh, so, now I'm starting up my wind turbine fan system and what is shown on this uh, graph down there is, um, let me just find it. The red curve is the measured thrust and a green curve uh, behind it is uh, the target uh, thrust. And you can see that I ramped up uh, the thrust force to be these uh, 18 uh, newtons. And yeah, the, the green curve and the red curve are on top of each other. Uh, so the, the fan is generating this a thrust force that I'm, I'm specifying. And you could maybe see on the videos that, that the platform and fan moved a little bit uh, backward uh, to uh, where, uh, as this uh, thrust force was generated. Now just to make some variations, I'll over, um, top this up with a sinusoidal signal of uh, with an amplitude of, of 30% um, with, a with a period of, of, of two seconds just to, just to kind of um, uh, demonstrate um, that my fan is able to, to recreate a variable thrust. So you can see now that the wind turbine is uh, moving a little bit back and forth as this thrust force is uh, oscillating. The next thing I will uh, demonstrate is uh, to put on um, a, a wind profile. Um, I will put on um, an unsteady uh, wind uh, with uh, a very low uh, turbulence intensity. Here I have only 3% uh, uh, turbulence intensity, so the speed is, is not uh, varying uh, very much. Um, but it is a 
a realistic situation in order to get uh, much higher variations I can increase the turbulence intensity and I'm now going to increase it to uh, 30% something that is uh, extremely high turbulence but just to show you or to demonstrate how the, um, the forcing uh, uh, will vary over time So you can see now that the forces are, are varying significantly more. And you can also see uh, on the uh, real-time uh, videos that you get uh, higher uh, motions of um, the platform. In this last uh, demonstration, I am going to uh, show you a, a very special case just to demonstrate how this um, real-time uh, control is, is working. I am using a, a wind, an incident wind here of only 2.5 uh, meters per second. So it's not going to give any, any thrust um, on the turbine, so the, the, the turbine is standing still. Um, but I'm going to put on some uh, waves in the basin in order for the uh, model to start uh, moving. I've disabled the wave energy devices uh, so they are not dampening the motion and I've chosen a very long period and a very high uh, wave in order to um, trigger the resonance uh, frequency of the platform in pitch and I'm doing that in order uh, to get very big uh, motions of the platform. You can see that wave is coming in now and you can see the platform is uh, responding to this motion and you'll also see that when the platform is moving forward uh, the fan is spinning uh, to generate a, a, a thrust. I'll also explain it by the curves down here. The green curve is the motion of the platform or the motion at the hub in the wind direction. Um, so, and, and the incident wind is, is the red curve, which I keep constant. The blue curve is the relative velocity. That is the velocity that you would feel if you stand up at this uh, nacelle. So when the platform is moving forward, you would feel a, a stronger wind hitting you. So the wind thruster has to generate a higher force when it moves forward. And that is what you can see that the propeller is speeding up as the platform is moving forward. As I said, this is a very unrealistic scenario, but it very well uh, demonstrates the effect of this uh, real-time uh, controller of uh, the fan. That is, this is the end of the show. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed uh, the little tour.